NYC President Marvin Edgar says he still wants an apology. That apology follows what he says was the childish and vindictive decision by the Ministry of Youth and Sports to not have him address the National Youth Awards. Events organizer and department director for Tuna Belrose says no apology is forthcoming since there was an absence of malice in that decision. And although a meeting has been scheduled between the parties, Edgar is standing firm. I mean, my position is clear on this. I think um, that protocol having been established, that the ministry should have included the president's name on the program of the National Youth Council to address the young people at the National Youth Award Ceremony. Of course, um, I will not change my position on that. I think the ministry owe the young people of St. Lucia an apology. And I think that the young people, that the ministry also owes the uh, NYC and its president an apology. The president of the SLP youth organization, J.D. Jean-Pierre, has weighed in on what she says is another chapter in the contentious story of the NYC and the United Workers' Party. She has called on the ministry to step up and take responsibility for what she says was a deliberate snub of the NYC president. I personally don't think that it was an accident that um, the president of the NYC was omitted from the program. Edgar says he assumed he would address the award ceremony because that had been the norm since the existence of the NYC. He admits his lateness at arriving at the ceremony, a situation the organizer says made his inclusion in the program impossible. He is also cognizant of his failure to verify his presence on the program beforehand. It is a communication breakdown. Both young leaders acknowledge and explain. There was some, perhaps some lack of communication. Mm -hmm. There was some lack of communication. I, I think I can see that. But that should not give um, anybody uh, the reason to exclude NYC from a national youth award ceremony. There is a serious lack of communication between the NYC and the Department of Youth and Sports. And whoever is responsible for that, I'm not too sure if it is the NYC or if it is the Department of Youth and Sports. But at the end of the day, this is the department which is responsible for youth issues in St. Lucia. If the NYC is not doing what it has to do in terms of, of the action and communication, well, that brings up a whole different story. The NYC was represented at the podium by its first vice president, Tracy Dolce. In the past two years, Edgar also addressed the National Youth Awards in a similar capacity. He says on both occasions, he spoke because of the resignations of two separate NYC presidents. In other words, as the elected second vice president, he was representing the NYC president. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.